What's up, everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and I'm back with another episode of Inside the Network, where we show exclusive content from inside of brandmannetwork.com. And this snippet right here is a snippet from an interview I did with Mike Millions, who's an artist manager who's been hustling and moving his way up through the game, has a lot of lessons, and was really open and willing to share them. In this particular snippet, he talks about the value of relationships in the music industry and really how you should look at them in some ways. So when his, when his career started going a little cold in 2016, I was like, all right, let me let me do something. Let me figure out something else, because if he goes cold, it's like it's like it's like um, a business going bankrupt. You feel me? Mm -hmm. If it goes bankrupt, everybody out of a job. So true. Some people just wait till they get to the next job, or some people just wait till the uh, the company gets back on track. Why would I wait? Like, why would I wait? Let's get it popping now. Let's let's figure out something. So. Especially if you're not like integral, like the one of the main man. Yeah, I wasn't the main. I wasn't yeah. the main man, but it's just like you know, like I really, I really was like, man, just like I met you. I really could like you know. Tomorrow I'm shouting you out. I'm, I'll be posting your stuff. I'm showing you love because right, right, right. you gave me an opportunity. So it's like if I see my man's winning, and he my he the friends of my other man's, I want to see him win. So Got you. Like, it's just all about that. So even from the moment I met him, like you know, I showed him love. I we posted his stuff, and like he might not even, he might not even call me. He might not even say thank you. But I I don't care about the acknowledgement. You feel me? Because mm -hmm. that's why I'm here now. Right. I did my do. I do my. I did my do 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 diligence, and I just work my way. You feel me? I showed love when it was the right time, and I worked hard when it was the right time, and I relaxed when it was the right time. So it's all about. Mm. All about just doing progress, just progressing. So and the, and this industry stuff, relationship matters. Not even about the money now. For sure. So it's crazy how much relationships exactly. matter. What, at what point did you realize that? Two thousand and seventeen. Okay. Two thousand seventeen, eighteen. Because I I measure I measure my success by years. You feel me? Like All right. I compared last year, this year to last year. Mm, Actually, okay. it was kind of rough for me, especially gotcha. when I was breaking. Um, when me and my first artist fell apart, because I could get, I could get. I'm a very loyal person, so it could, it could be a, it could be a downfall to me sometimes. So, especially when people are, people coming. Remember when we started talking about when we build a relationship? So people come and they, they could six months. They, they could be cool for you six months, but then the moment you. Offer a contract, or the moment you want some uh, extra yeah. money, or yeah. the moment you you do something wrong, that shit switches up. Yeah. So I was like, man, it's all about relationships, and also because when people think you got money, they just gonna try to take all that shit from you. Like, any every single penny, like something might be worth five hundred, fifteen hundred. They gonna charge you fifteen hundred. You know what I mean? Like so, I was like, and then. I knew that I couldn't like okay at one point in time I couldn't get into radio stations mm -hmm. couldn't get into certain studios I didn't know what was going on now I know what's going on I could get into all the radio stations in Atlanta I could get into all the exciting events in Atlanta and I could walk into all these clubs for free honestly like so you couldn't get in just cause you didn't know anything or you weren't connected you were just early on or you couldn't get in because you were like blackballed or something like I that I was I, could, I didn't know anything. Okay, gotcha. I didn't know anything. It was early on. It wasn't a time yet. My face wasn't out there. Um, when it comes to being blackballed, I, I haven't feel like I've been, I haven't, I don't feel like I'm being blackballed, but I also know that, you know, there's people out here that don't like you for who you really are. You feel me? Yeah. You might not even done nothing to them. If, you, <laughs> if you're a successful yeah. person and people gravitate towards you. Yeah. They don't like you for that. So, and I'm not even want to say I'm successful. I'm just a regular person trying to make it. So, people don't like you when you know, you know, when you <laughs> when you doing something positive. For no reason, it's man. weird to me because I'm like, if you're doing your thing, shout out to you, my brother. Let's work. Let's get it. Let's let's win. But they don't like that. Yeah. And I'm just like, I'm just trying to figure out like why. That's like that's the that's the negative part of the industry that I don't like. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Yeah. Like I meet some. I mean, I don't. It's, I don't met it people from east side of towns in Atlanta and it's just like people got their own little squad over here people got their own little squad over here yeah. 
we all know each other <laughs> through high school or just parties and stuff and just even messing with the same females but it's like you don't like me because of oh everybody's hanging out with you or oh you had, you got in, for, in the club and I had a hard time getting in the club <laughs> or oh you mess with the same girls or oh you you didn't repost my stuff and yeah. or, oh you might took my ideas and I'm like, how did I how did I know it was your idea? You know, we had a similar similar ideas. Why we didn't why why we didn't collaborate? Yeah. You feel me? Instead of competing. Yeah. Like, it's 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 a way for you both of, me and you to have the same ideas. Mm-hmm. But we're gonna do it different, we're gonna execute it different ways, right? But why not instead of some people just like hate on you or just don't like you instead of just collaborating, getting them, getting the idea to a better ground and just being successful and make a lot of money off it. So yeah. So that was just that was just really my beginning journey and just knowing that love relationships matter in this industry because you can get blackballed. You can get blackballed, but me, I always say it's not where I can get blackballed because I pray for this. You feel mm. me? I pray for this. I got I work hard for this. And if God don't want me in the room, that's God, not you. Ain't no man about to tell me what I'm about to do. Mm. So Ain't no man about to close the doors. I, every time I every time I wake up, I'm, the first prayer I always say is, any opportunity is not meant for me, let me know, God. Close those doors. And if this is an opportunity meant for me, open them. And I've been on stages and been in rooms with them. All right, now, if you like that snippet, you can check out the full interview on brandmannetwork.com. And the, look, the key things that I want to just draw on are pretty simple from this, right? Relationships can open doors relationships can close them, right? They can get you in and they can keep you out. And it's something that you do have to keep in mind, right? There are a lot of situations that money cannot buy, right? You, you, your hype, your, your clout, they can't get you in the door. There are plenty of those situations. So there's a lot of rooms that you might not be in simply because you don't have a relationship to get in them. And sometimes it's not even about that or if anybody's blackballing you or if they don't like you, sometimes you just aren't on their mind. They don't even know you. So building relationships and getting people to know you and keeping yourself top of mind and showing yourself to be quality and relevant to them that gives them to have the opportunity to say, yo, you know, I'm doing this. I'm in this meeting and I'm and I'm talking to these people. And when they said they needed this, I thought about you. Right. That doesn't happen without you even having a relationship. So there's so much value when it comes to relationship, not just in the music industry, just in business in general and life in general. So keep that in mind. I know you guys might hear it enough, but it's never heard enough right it's something that you can always be reminded of because it's that relevant and that vital when it comes to having a successful sustainable career and last but not least people are people right he also touched on the standpoint that yo look i'm not trying to create any enemies and i don't want to get outside of myself or go out my way to do something stupid at the same time right i'm not going to do anything that i know is going to hurt somebody or i know is going to be looked at a certain way if i don't have to do it right and some of that comes with maturity right there's sometimes people will be like yo you know i'm not gonna change who i am i'm gonna do what i need to do and blah 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 like right you can get to a certain point in life where you realize look man it's not even that big of a deal i'm not going to even do this thing create enemies that i don't need because obviously when we think about relationships that can easily come back to you so that's also another thing to keep in mind right having the maturity and being able to manage ego has a huge huge deal to do with success i when i'm telling you like that i understand managing your ego can be hard and your ego not reacting sometimes can feel like somebody else's ego winning but trust me there's been snippets you can look at jay-z interviews and there, there's so many clips matter of fact jay-z had an interview with zane low right and they talked about that like sometimes you just got to step back and let other people's egos move let their egos go to work and doesn't mean that you're losing it just means you're not participating in that entire that entire game right you're not engaging and sometimes people will feel like you're being messy or you feel like you're above or better than it for not playing that game and engaging in that conflict but 
you have to realize long game is going to serve you better that way in most instances. So that's another thing to keep in mind. Of course, if you guys want to see the entire interview, you can check it out on brandmannetwork.com. We help artists develop their brand and of course, help them build out their marketing infrastructure so they can grow their fan base. If you like this video, go ahead and like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe.